In this video, we are going to experiment uh, Orbit component, which it comes with the Foundation Framer. And with, uh, let me see how it had been it has been constructed. All right, we start uh, with the blank project. I always prefer blank project with a component. All right, but before we start here, let's uh, look at the foundation website and document site documents. Uh, it should be somewhere in the media. Yeah, orbit. Okay, we are going to build very basic one. I'm not going to include this uh, arrow left and right and this navigation here as well. They're uh, just sliding few images and we are going to experiment that with the responsive uh, foundation framer here. And I have made some graph here that it shows how this uh, orbit has been constructed. Okay, as we start a uh, new blank, blank project with the foundation framer, we come up with the row and column. Okay, then we will add our container, one container into, into this column. All right, let's go, we do it. And we will add a container with the class of orbit. And data attribute is data orbit. Let's go do this with foundation frame. So we add one container first. And we give a class of orbit. All right, then from attribute should be data orbit. Data, why well, search orbit is better. Data orbit. Okay, then value leave it blank. Second, let's we have a second step or next step. Let's we have a look at with the next uh, element. We're done with our container. Next element is a list container. We drag list uh, container into this column. Okay. We drag it into the, this column and we class it uh, orbit container. Let's we could do it with the foundation framer here. So we are going to add this list container into this container. Okay. Yes, we have our container. We have list container here. We are going to give class to this list container. Going to give class of orbit container. Orbit container. Okay, as soon as we add orbit container, our bullet uh, from here is disappears okay and we have three elements here okay for each of this which is list item container we have a list item container list item container we will give orbit a slide we give a class name of orbit slide. So we select one of them. Mm, yes, list item container slide orbit slide. Okay, it disappears. And for this as well. 
orbit slide and for the third one we give orbit slide as well so now all a had been disappeared we have nothing here if we look at here some of items hidden okay we will click this show the all the three hidden items now so we have our list container we have our list item containers now all we need is image in each in each of these slides we will add our own slide uh, uh, sorry picture elements first picture second picture and third picture all right then let's go and see what classes we should have give to these pictures for the picture elements they will give a class orbit image We select the image and from the class we give image orbit image okay then for this as well orbit image and for the third one as well orbit image okay now let's we add our picture from resources of our project we don't have any picture I create image folder and select the image folder and I import my image here okay now for the first image I'm going to select local image and select any of this one for the second image as well old image third and for the third image okay now for the first one for the first uh, list item container for the first for the first list item container we give a class is active we select the list item container is active then we hide but unfortunately it is still hidden it is supposed to be sh active so I would be able to see it so for me to see it now I uncheck this or maybe in the setting here in the positions maybe displayed none but I can display it block okay so now and for let's be previewed before we do anything else let's see our image with the slides yes our image is sliding so now we have to do with their width select the image itself and uh, for the max width I select none should be working refresh give a few seconds let's see our image with slides yep 
yes, our image slides. And this is how we create uh, Orbit with the uh, Foundation Framer. And as you see here, we have a row column container, a list containers, list item containers, and image. And we make a first list container item, we will make it active. But I found out uh, Foundation Framer it's uh, even though we give a class of uh, list item list item we give a class of is active but it gives a uh, you know, display none but i manually add block okay uh, hopefully you learn something from here and if you really you don't want this much of hassle, I recommend have a look at this application from Coffee Cup as well. It's called Responsive Content Slider. It's really beautiful and powerful applications and it makes life much easier and hassle free. And of course you can publish it this from content, sli content slider and import it into either responsive site designer or into foundation firm.